Assuming a user's Wi-Fi password becomes known by a manufacturer, what risks does that present? Yeah, great question. So, um, you know, we always get concerned when we have a, a authentication credential, which a Wi-Fi password would count as, um, in the hands of uh, any uh, third party, right? Whether it's the manufacturer, or whether it's your neighbor, um, uh, your your neighbor's kid, whatever. Um, and the the question that I would have in that particular case is, how is it protected by the manufacturer? And how did they become aware of that password? If they have that password centrally, right? Like they've, they've, they've hauled that information back to their cloud infrastructure or their application infrastructure, then the security of our Wi-Fi network is dependent on how they have secured that key in their environment. Um, so I, Personally, I would consider that uh, relatively high risk, and it's not something that I would allow uh, for a device that, that sits on my network at home. All right, and uh, Josh? Yeah, to piggyback what Trent said, the other concern is that people, it, the passwords are hard, right? So, I mean, there's a high probability that the Wi-Fi password is also your bank password, right? And so this is why people should be using like one, one password or LastPass. Uh, but if you, um, I mean, it just unfortunately is the case that people reuse passwords. And so if you expose one password credential and then that gets posted, um, that allows an, a, the open internet or the attackers on the internet to then just try your username and password on other sites. Great. And uh, Howdy, any, any additional thoughts on that? No, I mean, these, these guys have totally nailed that, the answer to that. Um, I mean, maybe the only other thing to think about is if, since we're kind of talking about how we develop products and we bring them to market, don't do that, right? I mean, you don't want to be taking user passwords, uh, user Wi-Fi passwords, and bringing them back to your cloud. Um, that's a bad design because regardless of how hard, I mean, you just don't need it. And regardless of how much uh, security you think you've got around it, how clever you think you are, I mean, you know, mistakes happen. So, so it's just, it seems like a risk that, uh, you know, Wi-Fi passwords belong on the device and nowhere else. 